Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to connect this Delta HMI to this thermal printer. Okay. So this Delta HMI, I will show the model number. This is DOP 107 WV. Okay. And this is a Ipsen make printer. Okay. Ipsen. This is the model number of printer TM T82. If you want to buy this printer, you can go in description and click on the link. From that link, you can purchase this printer from Amazon. Okay. So we are going to use this cable. Okay for communication purpose between printer and HMI ok so this port this port will be for, for printer side and this port will be in HMI side ok so here you can see I will just connect this cable to here okay and in printer side you can see here okay this this port is for power okay uh, this connector is for power connector and you can see here this is C, uh, C type connector okay sorry square type connector so I will just connect this cable to this port So I will just give the power to printer okay, and I will give power to HMI and let's start the programming side. For HMI uh, development, open DOP soft software, okay. create new project, select your model, HMI model number, I have 107 WV next here you need to select your uh, plc interface okay how you are going to connect hmi to plc you need to just uh, put out here all protocols and related settings okay so in this video i am not going to connect any plc i will just show you uh, the part of hmi and printer right so but we have to select here at least one plc without that we cannot proceed here so that's why I will just select here PLC. Okay, we'll click uh, finish. Yeah, this is our main home screen. Okay, so here you can see print screen. This is this is our main home screen. Okay, so first of all we will configure the printer. So just go to options, click here, com click on configuration. So in this dialog, you can see here, this is a print option is there, okay. So just click on print. Here you can select your printer model number, okay. So here, uh, these are the uh, default drivers which are already installed in the HMI. So you need to uh, select your uh, printer model number here. So I have Ipsen model number of Ipsen TM T82 II, okay. So I will just select this printer. So this uh, you can see here this is paper size so basically this uh, printer is for 80 width uh, 80 mm width okay so but if you want uh, so by default it will take 80 by 80 mm right so suppose uh, if you want uh, a height uh, greater than 80 mm then I will just select here custom so here you can set the uh, width and height right so width is fixed that is 80 mm and for height uh, let's suppose take uh, 150 mm okay yeah so click on ok here you can see interface is uh, usb drive uh, because we have connected a printer through usb to hmi i have recently just uh, shown uh, you how we have connected to printer and hmi okay 
so it is connected with usb drive so that's why here usb is selected click on ok yeah now we will create one uh, print screen okay so just click on screen uh, new screen okay here you can give suppose name print screen and screen type just need to select the print screen click on ok yeah you can see see here this is now the size 80 mm and height is uh, as we have given 150 mm okay i will again show you here we have selected 80 mm width and 150 mm height that's why this screen size is automatically appeared okay so suppose uh, now let's take a text on this screen just give the name welcome anything let's suppose take our channel name okay let's take suppose uh, date and time You can just resize this font and all as per your requirement. Okay, so here let's take transparent background. Yeah, sorry. You can change the date format. So let's take DDMMYY. Okay, now let's take time. Again, make it transparent. Yeah. Let's reduce the font 14. Okay. So suppose uh, you have some entry like just save first save this backup print test right. So let's take one uh, numeric display here. Again, let's make it transparent. So here, uh, actually, uh, now I have not connected PLC to the HMI. So we'll give HMI address, which is the internal address, right? So just to show you, I am just taking internal memory here. You can give PLC address here, okay? No problem. You can select here PLC, and you can give you can give any address here. But now, but now I have not connected PLC, so that's why taking internal memory address. Okay, let's give the suppose uh, name you want to display pressure. Let's take one more parameter. Let's take suppose temperature. Okay. 
copy paste let us go next address right let us take one more text here that is subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos kindly subscribe to channel ok if you like this video please subscribe to channel now we are done with this uh, print format and all ok so now we need to print this first of all we will take a numeric entry for this too so go to main screen we take numeric entry let's copy this word we have given internal address that is 0 just copy paste temperature this is one okay you need to give uh, one print button here so before that just go on uh, right click here and go on print setup here you can see this dialog box so you need to just click this screen this is drag and drop in this print output screen okay and then click ok so now uh, from element just take uh, one print button here you can see here in element in buttons print output button is there right so just take this button just give the name print ok so I will just download this backup in HMI okay now you can see here HMI and printer also right so on HMI let's suppose enter here value that is 10 here 20 suppose 22 right so if I click on print button 